Hey, y'all. This is Bridget London and the Highway Woman Radio Show, coming to you from Austin, Texas. Yes, here she comes, the highway woman. She comes with music for your soul, and then moves along. just joining us. This is Bridget London and the Highway Woman Radio Show, and I'm so excited to have my friend, the wonderful and talented Linda McRae on the show. <laughs> hey, Linda. Ah, oh, thank you. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Now, where am I catching you at? Are you on the road right now? Yeah, we're up in Buffalo. Uh, we had a few shows in New York State this past weekend. We're just uh, at some friends' place here, and we're heading up for a few days off up in Canada at their cabin, so it'll be really fun. Looking forward to it. Now, let's tell folks, you're originally from Canada, Linda. I am, yeah, from the west coast of Canada, British Columbia. Born, brought up in a small little town on Vancouver Island, Shawnigan Lake, and then moved to Victoria, the big, the big city, and then moved to an even bigger city, Vancouver. And then eventually I ended up in Nashville, just outside of Nashville in Tennessee. What kind of music did you listen to growing up, Linda? Who influenced you, do you think, the most? Well, yeah, a lot of my mom and dad's um, music when I was really young was, you know, Hank Williams, uh, Les Paul, Klein, and Jordan Record, and, you know, really a lot of that kind of stuff. And then it kind of came full circle years later with a lot of the Roots artists, the new Roots artists, you know, still loving the old stuff as well, all the Hank Williams. And, you know, he was such an amazing writer. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of come full circle, which is kind of interesting, you know. Well, speaking of Hank Williams, now you have several albums out, but you're celebrating the release of a brand new CD we want to tell folks called Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts, and you have a Hank Williams song on this record. I do, yeah. Ramblin' Man. We, uh, the banjo actually brought something out in that song for me. I wasn't, I, I don't even know if I ever would have attempted that song, uh, just because it's, you know, he does such an incredible version of it. Karen Kang did a really great version of it as well, but I was invited to go up, um, or go down to Montgomery, Alabama, the Hank Williams Museum, does a, an annual New Year's celebration honoring Hank's musical legacy, and I was invited to go down and be part of their show there. And then at midnight, everyone goes over to Hank's gravesite and, you know, sings songs and his songs and everything, and I ended up doing that rambling man on the banjo and it just ended up becoming part of my repertoire and people just really seemed to like it we ended up doing it on the on the new album or you know really fun i've actually been thinking about doing an album of all songs by different hanks (laughs) you know (laughs) that would be very cool (laughs) yeah yeah well, how about we play a Ramblin' Man from your brand new CD, Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts, and we'll come back and you can Great. tell us about uh, about this new record. Thank you. Linda McRae, everybody, with her version of Ramblin' Man. That open road starts to call in me There's something over the hill That I just gotta see Sometimes it's hard But you gotta understand That when the Lord made me He made a rambling man And that was Ramblin' Man for our guest tonight, the wonderful and talented Miss Linda McRae from her brand new CD, Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts. Now, Linda, is this officially available in the United States yet? It's available online, which makes it available anywhere. <laughs> really, there you but go. It's, <laughs> the record's really uh, the record's really just been released in Canada so far. We're going to release it in the United States officially um, in about six months to, from now. 
Um, because I'm from Canada, I'm more, I'm more uh, known there. So we released, you know, the records first there and then sort of, uh, you know, six months to eight months later, we released it in the States and, and then the rest of the world and stuff. So, but you can, but you can get it online from my website. There's also a place called go to a gig dot CA that, uh, is a fellow out of Alberta who has an online distribution company and he distributes, um, Dirk Morlicks and, uh, Boy Foley's stuff and Sam Baker and Mary Gaucher, you know, a bunch of really wonderful American songwriters, great American songwriters. So it's a, kind of an honor to be on that, you know. Hooked up with all those folks. <laughs> Speaking of Gurf, mm-hmm. now Gurf produced your last CD. That was actually a couple of years ago. Uh, it was a, a record called uh, "Crying Out Loud." Yeah, mm-hmm. and he played on he he played on the last one as well. He played on almost all of my CDs. <laughs> yeah, great friends. You sold, uh-huh. you sold so many records in Canada and did so well there, and then found yourself coming to the United States. How do you like it here? How do you like being? I here? really love it. I find people here are, are incredibly friendly. Like people in Canada are friendly too, but I think they're they can be kind of more reserved. It takes a little while to um, a little longer to get to know people, especially in the bigger cities. When I first moved to Vancouver, it took me a couple of years to really make some really lasting, solid friendships. You know, but here it's I don't know. It's people just seem to be really. Um, it's just it's really easy to make friends here. Uh, get to know people pretty quickly, you know. The Americans, I just find, are really are really open and really friendly, and there's, you know, not so much maybe guarded or shy. I think Canadians are quite shy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you're very open in your music, and I think that, you know, other musicians have so much love and respect for what you do that you make it really easy. That's how I feel about you anyway. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. I got to see you Thank live you so at much. Tex Chromosome a few years ago. Actually, Rambling uh, Man, the song we played, was the first song I heard of yours, and I think my oh, mouth dropped out to the floor. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> well, I just, I really admire what you're doing and everything. The new radio, you know, the new website, the KitKat women's radio and magazine and all that stuff and the you know all the stuff that you do it's so amazing yeah. highway women and all that stuff yeah it's just really really great thank you linda and you know it's people huh. like you that that keep us inspired now with this new album the, the rough edges and ragged hearts i'd like to play the title track but why don't you tell me a little bit about the song and well i i sat down with a friend of mine al mater um He's a kind of performance artist, performance poet. He and I sat down and we wrote that song. It's just kind of about, you know, there's a little bit of us in there too, I think, but it's just after, you know, playing in bars for so many years and just sort of, uh, you know, keeping your eyes open and watching diff- different people. And there's a lot of lonely people out there in the world and sort of, you know, kind of about that. We actually, we wrote the song in about 2005, 2006, and for some reason I just couldn't get it to work. To, uh, not all the parts were there. Some some of the parts were, pieces were missing. And then about two years ago I took it off the shelf and <laughs> played it and just started playing. I had forgotten about the song, and it just it ended up turning into the title track, and, and we got girls to sing some backup and he played upright bass and guitar, some acoustic guitar as well. And it just, he was the perfect glue that kind of held it all, put it all together as well. So he was really happy the way with the way it turned out. I'm pretty, really proud of this whole record. And this, this song is, I think, one of the, definitely one of the standout pieces in the, on the record. Well, I agree. And I'd love to play it for everyone. This is uh, the title track to Linda McRae, our guest tonight. Her brand new CD, Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts. That I know so well Rough edges and ragged hearts Come together just to fall apart
And that was Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts, the title track to Linda McRae's brand new CD. You need to go get it, and you need to find out more about Linda McRae if you're not familiar with her music and pick up all of her albums. Right, Linda? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Where I need to take you with me on the road. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What's happening now for you, Linda? Are you going to be touring a lot this summer? We are. We're actually, um, we have a few more shows in New York State uh, before heading out to Western Canada. We're going to be doing CD release shows in Western Canada up until August 27th. I'm, I'm doing a bunch of festivals this summer. One of them's uh, the Vancouver Island Music Festival and uh, with Katie Lang and Amy Lou Harris and Richard Thompson and Buffy St. Marie and Laurie Anderson, just the, the big Tanya's. It's an amazing festival, a wonderful festival. I'm really looking forward to to the summer and we have a month off then October and November we're doing a bunch more shows in New York State I have a folk club show in New York City in October and then um, a couple of weeks in Ontario and then some more stuff some, some music conferences as well and then we're kind of done for the year at the end of November well this sounds exciting and we want to tell uh, our listeners to go to your website you want to give that yeah. up for everyone Linda Sure, it's, it's www.lindamccray, which is uh, L-I-N-D-A, and McCray is M-C-R-A-E.com. A lot of people, my name gets spelled every which way <laughs> you can imagine, so yeah, it's M-C-R-A-E. <laughs> You know, they even got McCrag one time. <laughs> <laughs> We've anyway. all been there, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for you know, sure. Uh, with this record, Linda, where did you record this at? Did you record this in Nashville? No. <laughs> Crazy enough, I went. I left Nashville and went to Vancouver, Canada, and recorded it up there. And then with the way things are these days, you know, you can send some stuff up, off to various people. They have their own studios or have access to a studio, and then they can add their parts but as well. It took a long time to, to make this record. I'm not sure if I'd do it that way again. So I did all my parts within a few days, you know, and then everything was added later on, and our Mark Lesperance who produced it was had a really busy year. He got married, and there was a lot of different things happening, and it just it took you know well over a year to finish it off and everything, and I kind of like to do things a little faster but uh you know i kind of believe things kind of happen for a reason or for the best you know outcome or whatever so you know yeah but you know i turned out we're really happy with the way it turned out and got a really great sound on a lot of the stuff and you know the guests that we had on we had a few friends do some stuff on it and their stuff was really great and ray bonneville did some amazing stuff on one track i just love what he did and a fellow named Doug Cox is a dobro player from Canada, Western Canada, and uh, the Sojourners. And Samantha Parton, who uh, is with the Be Good Tanya's, and they're back together again and doing some shows, which is really great. They're an awesome trio from Canada as well. So, yeah, so it just it was really, really fun. I'm really proud of it. My husband and I have some co-writes on this album, too, which is the first of, you know, we've never written together before and had any stuff published together, so... That's pretty exciting as well. <laughs> you bet. You guys make a great pair, you know, oh, together okay. and also collaborating musically. And this yeah. record is just wonderful, Linda. Of course, I loved your last one so much, too. But, you know, oh, this, is, this is a really, really great record. And I want to play you. another cut from this record. Why don't you pick one? Oh, gosh. Let's see. Why don't we do uh, Doing Life Without Parole? It's quite a bit different from the other ones, I think, that we've played so far. Let's do that. Doing life without parole, Linda McRae. We've been featuring cuts from her brand new CD, Rough Edges and Ragged Hearts. You can go online and download it and, and find more information at lindamccrae.com. That's L-I-N-D-A-M-C-R-A-E.com. And she's on Facebook and all that good stuff. Right, Linda? Yeah. 
Yep. <laughs> I keep up with all that stuff. It's so much, but... Mm. That's right. And so now you're going to finish up there on the East Coast and head up to, to Canada. And anything else coming up this year you want to tell folks about? We're actually... My husband and I went and did some stuff at New, New Folsom Prison. We worked with the inmates there, California's maximum security prison. We were there twice, once this year and once last year. And it's led to the two of us I'm actually putting together a program to work with youth at risk and youth offenders. You know, just basically a concert and workshop sort of situation where we can get them involved and get them up and perform some of the material that, that they've written that help them get rid of some of the angst and, you know, just get some of their frustrations and their own feelings out in poetry or music or whatever. And uh, it's we've done a bit of it so far, and it's just been a really rewarding, fun experience. And they've really got a lot to say and a lot to offer. And if we can have any kind of a positive influence on even just one person's life, it's just so worth doing, you know, so... So that's one of the things that we're working on right now. Hopefully get that implemented in the in the fall or in early next year to start doing, you know, some of those workshops in tandem with our tours, with shows that we're doing around. People can read about that. It's uh, on a, a few right. magazines online we know about. <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh-huh. And I'm really thrilled about uh, doing some, you know, the column. I'm going to be doing a column for Kick-Ass um, music women and it's almost ready i started started working on that while we were driving up here to buffalo column called rough edges i'm really mm-hmm. excited about that too and you have so much your gifts and i really commend you for that project that you're doing uh, with the folks of the Folsom prison project and we want to yeah you. it's been such an incredible experience and i'm just you know, we really feel like it's been a gift that's just landed in our lap. Totally unexpected. It's been a real eye opener, uh, and it's really it's really taught us a lot. And it's and it's been really good for our own sort of feeling about how we can impact other people's lives in the world. And we actually, you know, have something to offer. And every everyone does. You know, I think we forget that sometimes. We all have some special thing that we can offer people. You know, or Everybody that we meet, we, have, we impact every, everyone, each other's lives, you know? That's so, right, that's right. I just think it's really important to remember that. I and it and, and, um, doesn't matter who you are, you know, those, those guys that behind bars, a lot of the ones that we've been working with are in there for the rest of their lives for one reason or another. And, uh, you know, I mean, some of us could have ended up in there ourselves, having, you know, given different sets of circumstances or whatever, so... It's just, uh, I just realize that they're human beings as well, and some of them made some terrible mistakes in their lives, and then they're paying for it. But it doesn't mean that they have to be treated like animals, That's you know? That's right, and that every life has value and meaning, and yeah. everyone can change, and music is transformational and healing. Exactly. Yeah, we've seen it firsthand, you know, what it what effects it can have on people's lives that they just had no idea that life had any value or there was anything beautiful about it at all because they hadn't experienced it, you know. So I art and music, really, yeah, it really is. You know, maybe really some, somebody listening to this that hadn't really looked at it that way might think to themselves, wow, you know, you know, and your music, your music covers such a wide spectrum of emotion from, you know, fun to, you know, really delving into deep, emotions and it's just it's you're such an incredible writer linda and i really oh thank you yeah encourage people to you know really find out more about you yourself your projects and pick up your music for sure and and, uh congratulations uh you should be very proud of this new record and uh i want to play one more cut from this song of course i think considering what we're talking about be your own light yeah <laughs> yeah it's kind of the perfect uh perfect outro for sure definitely that's right have a wonderful wonderful rest of your tour give my best to your husband james i will thanks bridget and uh, go to linda mccrae.com sure. l-i-n-d-a-m-c-r-a-e.com pick up her new cd and her other cds as well and uh, see her out on the road uh, be your own light thanks bridget To live your life the way you wanna, yeah, yeah, among the flora 
And the fauna Tell lies if you're gonna 